Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aziz Drives. Today I'm very excited because we're driving Porsches. We got two Porsches in the review. One 996 Turbo that I'm sitting in right now and the latest 992 Turbo S. So today we're driving the 996 Turbo. Let's talk about it. So the car came out in late 90s, okay, the standard 996 that Turbo was built from 2000 to 2005. And as Porsche says, it was an absolute performance machine. And now 20 years later, or in this case, 22 years later, it is still a mint performance machine. Let me give you the stats. 420 horsepower, 560 Newton meters of torque out of a 3.6 liter, flat six twin turbocharged engine from Metzger. And yes, this car is sti uh, still a Metzger engine and it's the first water-cooled 911 that was ever built. And since then, we have a lot of 911s with a water cooling system. What I love most about it is the nostalgic feeling I get when driving a car like this. It is very nice and you can see the perfection in that time was still not perfect but it was seen as perfect and they had some things that weren't really good but you loved it it was more human it wasn't really you know I, i'm giving you a, an example when you hear a car is able to do 1.5 bar today for example the turbochargers push 1.5 bar into the engine it's going to be maximum 1.5 bar when you hear a 996 should have a 0 0.6 0 0.7 bar into the engine sometimes it happens that you get 0 0.9 bar so that's what i mean with nostalgic old school perfection and how that feels and how that drives is just a very interesting and a different experience than in today's cars let me explain a little further i will turn off the psm and show you what this car is able to do and even that you don't have to press a button for five seconds you just press it once and the psm is off like this okay second gear Oh my god, and even in today's terms, the car has 1.5 tons, but it drives so well, all the four tires are gripping, it sounds very nice, and you hear the turbochargers pushing, and the car going forward, ah, isn't that what driving a car is all about? enjoying the imperfections of what the human has created and this car is really really a fast fast machine even in today's terms i mean you can compare it to the latest turbo s but this just feels so brilliant to drive i mean look at that okay let's stop here for a second and accelerate from zero just to show you what it is all about okay so since we are going a little bit uphill let me accelerate like this so nice. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh god, I love it. Look at that. Pushes so hard. So much power. Absolutely love it. Every single gear goes in very nicely. It turns in so sharp. You feel the road on your hands because we have an old school hydraulic steering wheel the shifts are so nice so really it, it's kind of a hard way to shift you know really manly it's not easy it's 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 difficult it understeers if you give too much throttle it oversteers if you do the same thing it uh, it just feels different it is just a nice new feeling that you don't have in today's cars no accelerating and ah, the turbochargers are pushing you go into the corner and it feels fantastic around corners i swear it's really really good you you wouldn't even tell that it's an old car it really goes good around corners and especially when you put good track tires on a 996 turbo you will have a brilliant car and i know a lot of people hate it for the looks yeah the reason why all the people hated it is just because of the lamps in the front the headlight 
everyone thought they look hideous they don't look any good but now the car has gotten a little bit older we have two versions, and this is the facelifted one the turbos came only out with the facelifted version of the of those headlights and i would even say that the idea of the car of the 996 lives in the 992 you know the design elements the big headlight the big ass the big intakes it's just a very very nice and beautiful car to sit in even in today's terms it feels brilliant of course the interior as porsche is not the best in the interior it looks a little bit outdated if you want to find out more about the review from the exterior and interior design of the porsche 996 turbo make sure you check out our review we have a link down there all i put it into the end of the video for you so stick through what i like love most about it is how good it handles those bumps how good you feel driving it how extraordinary the power output is i mean 0 to 100 takes 4.2 seconds it tops out at 305 kph it's a brilliant brilliant and fast car with 420 horsepower that's even impressive in today's terms so that's very good the 560 newton meters feel plenty shifting third gear fourth gear it's a nice sound it's not too much it's not it's not too loud it's not too silent either it's a very good mix of both worlds so i really really like that and i enjoy driving a 996 a lot i know they don't look like everyone would expect it but this has just the flair of the old world like the the g models and the uh, 993s it has the same kind of interior paired with the latest versions of the turbos of the 911 experience and that's what i like and that's why i consider the 911 the best car that has ever been built you can do everything with it you can drive it daily you can track it you can go drive 300 if you want there's the car versions you can do everything with a 911 everything go on a date with your spouse take your children out for a drive you have two seats in the back it's it's fantastic man and it's really when you get the porsche it's over for everyone else it's over for every other car brand because they can do it better really this is the best car you can drive this is the best thing you can buy this is the best sports car that never breaks this is it this is it basically a 911 is the best thing you can buy it really is like that that's why you don't buy it don't buy it because when you buy it you will not be able to drive anything else you will always think about yeah but the 911 is a little better and you will have to keep that car in the garage and get like two three other cars that you will never drive because the easiest way for you to go from a to b is to take the 911 and you'll be the fastest one so that is what i like about especially the turbos such brilliant cars and i mean you know they take the base of the turbo and they use it for the gt2 so what a fantastic experience those 911s are really powerful really hard very good to drive comfortable when you want it fast when you want it really a great experience yeah and that's about it for the 996 turbo as i told you the car has 170,000 kilometers and still drives mint absolutely fantastic nothing that i would be uh, uh, uh disturbed by or that stresses me out no go ahead to a corner bam break a little before go into that corner the weight is in the back you have to watch out when you accelerate out so you don't uh, spin and Whoa. absolutely fantastic and every time you step on the front it's just an explosion forward look at that very nice you feel the weight at the back you do and that is what i love about it you can feel that it is old because in the latest cars you can't feel anything you don't feel the weight in the back you don't feel it pushing left and right that's just plenty that's plenty if you want a car if you want to experience the 911 experience and you have 50k in a budget you can easily go and buy a 996 turbo you won't regret it it's fantastic same thing with the gt3 996 version absolutely beautiful metzger engine those things are running for three four hundred thousand kilometers without any problem it's fantastic it's beautiful and i love it absolutely love it yeah and with that said thank you very much for watching make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe and see you on the next one goodbye